Welcome to this edition of Cooking with Talisha's Kitchen, and today we're going to make some chicken fillies. And what you'll need for this is some boneless chicken breast, your choice of peppers, your choice of cheese. My cheese is Gouda and provolone. And I like bakery subs. So in your grocery store, go to the bakery part, get their sub, or get whatever kind of sub bread that you want. So the first thing we want to do is cut up our chicken. Well, dice up our chicken, rather. Okay, now that we have this diced up, go ahead and rinse this off and then we'll come back. Okay, in this skillet, I'm going to do something a little different. I know it might sound weird, but trust the process. Pour this chicken in there, then fill it up with some water. Okay, this is kind of like a broiling technique, so I, I filled the skillet up with water. And we're gonna let this cook all the way down and then we're gonna come back and season it. But while we're doing that, we can um, go ahead and do cut up the um, bell peppers. But just turn this on medium high and let this cook all the way down. Cause I like it to get soft first before I make it kind of hard. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and cut our bell peppers up. Now some people use bell peppers, onions, and mushrooms, but that's totally up to you of however, which ones you wanna um, use you can use peppers you can use just onions but that's up to you i just like peppers in mine and colorful peppers at that <laughs> yeah i'm about to stop in a minute though this part i'm about to And these are cut up. Once we come back when the chicken is ready, we'll add this to it. Okay, most of the water have cooked down. Add a little butter in there. And then we can season it with some black pepper. Garlic powder. Some complete seasoning. Seasoning salt. Accent. Some slap your mama. Adobe. Mrs. Dash. Just some chicken seasonings, garlic, herbs, this ain't nothing major. I'm gonna add some little olive oil to the water. And now we're gonna add our peppers. And I got my fryer on for the fries. Mix this all together. Let this cook down. I can't forget my favorite seasoning coming in a pack. The Goya Saison. ahead and let this cook down kind of get like a brownish tint on it that's why I put the oil in here 
Okay, our chicken is done. See how all the oil and butter and water is absorbed. We're going to stick this to the side because now we're going to make, we already got our fries down. Now we're going to make the bread. So now we're going to, this is bread from the bakery. So get a bread knife just to cut it down the middle. You can tell what edge, like, that mean that's the back. Let's get our butter. just gonna like kind of cook each side down just about 10 10 one minute on each side one or two minutes not that long And I got my oven heated to um, to 400 so we can melt the cheese and then we'll come back. Kind of open it a little bit. Just like that. Okay, our bread is finished. Okay, you kind of had this up because it's going in the oven, so sit them down like this. Fill the cheese. Oh, you know what? I forgot a step. My bad. Add you some mayo. Then add the, the meat. your cheese in like a triangle and cut it. It's just Provolone do the same way. Go ahead and put this in the oven until it melts. Okay, we are back. Look at it. Melt it. My fries. How about this one? A little bit of cheese. Come on, all of us. Okay, I'm going to add me some ranch on mine. I like ranch and mayo. Cut mines in half. Let me know how y'all make y'all. Oh, this is a. I'm messing up the grid. Look, 
I done dropped some of my fries. Let me know how y'all make y'all chicken fillies. What do y'all, look at this. What do y'all put in y'all chicken fillies? See how they're different with boiling the chicken first, then cooking it. But let me know how y'all cook y'all chicken fillies. And thanks for tuning in for Talisha's Kitchen where I showed you how I make my tasty chicken filly. I'm on a fry. Let's try this. Mm. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share me cooking my chicken filly. Have a